All right, let's get over to Mark with a check of our forecast. If I can give us a little analogy of what mm -hmm. I thought today's weather was like. If okay. you go to the grocery store, see. here we go. You go to the grocery store, you see the wall of produce. You know, sometimes to freshen up the produce, they like sprinkle some water on it. And it comes on on a system. Oh, yeah. That's what Portland felt like. It was just like every... That's right. You know, so often it was like a little sprinkle and it was sunny again, a little sprinkle. Plants do love that here. I mean, we've had a relatively dry spring so far, uh, or normal wet springs. I mean, that does make for all the greenery. There's a reason there's all this green stuff yeah. everywhere. Okay, so that was a nice analogy. Actually, I've never, <laughs> in all my years doing this, I've never had an anchor make that analogy, so that's good. Uh, okay, so mowing forecast, folks. Challenging now because now we've got scattered showers. Uh, I think tomorrow the grass will dry late in the uh, day. Um, you know, like 4, 5, 6, 7 p.m. I think you could mow your grass after work and it may just be dry. We may get lucky. Tuesday looks pretty wet. I don't think they'll be drying late in the day on Tuesday. Maybe, maybe some parts of the metro. But then Wednesday looks pretty good. I think Wednesday is your day to aim for coming up. Or tomorrow, late afternoon or evening. Not tomorrow morning, though. It's going to be pretty wet. So 50 degrees out there to discover Newport Cam. Uh, here's a view from Vancouver. The showers are starting to become a bit more sparse. And I think in general, it'll be more than half dry in the metro through the evening hours. You might have a shower over your neighborhood. Just you hopefully you have our app and you uh, just check the radar. That's what I was doing with my son earlier today, uh, although it didn't work out so well for me. Uh, OK, so look at ski ball right now. So we've got um, just very little snow left at the lower elevations. Of course, they're, it's the Adventure Park now. They're getting ready to uh, clear things out. They, they want the snow to melt. But there's going to be a bunch of snow in the Cascades because we have a cool, two cool wet systems coming in the next two days. So uh, right around 40 degrees tonight, it will be turning rainy later tonight. So for the kids in the morning, I think it'll be a wet morning uh, bus stop. And then in the afternoon, the showers are starting to break up quite a bit in the afternoon. So you might get lucky. It's possible your bus stop in your part of town, it could be dry, although maybe a neighbor over in Vancouver or down in Hillsboro, maybe it's wet out there. The showers will become far less uh, numerous, let's say. But what's happening is there's, there's this cool pool of air up here dropping out of southeast Alaska. That is headed our way, and that brings us some pretty vigorous showers tomorrow morning and then again tomorrow night into the first half of Tuesday as well. And you can see that surge of showers coming in right around 3 a.m., turns into snow in the mountains. And uh, then at 8 a.m., it's still raining here in the western valleys. Notice how it dries out along the coast in the mid to late afternoon. Could be pretty bright. So I don't want to paint an all rainy picture for tomorrow. It basically gets much better the second part of the day, especially into the evening hours. Then you see the showers come back in after sunset, and you see the second surge of showers. Look at that on Tuesday morning during the morning commute, pretty wet, and again, another surge of snow in the mountains. Finally, late in the day Tuesday, probably really late, like 5 or 6 p.m., after a chance for a thunder shower Tuesday afternoon, then I think it's out of here, and then we get the dry weather coming in on Wednesday. All right, I should point out, and we'll talk about this in far more detail in the second half of the show. We're going to call it a first alert weather day and day night into tomorrow night in the Cascades because snow level is pretty low for this time of the year, and we do expect a dumping of snow up there. Here in the valleys, we're thinking maybe in the next, uh, well, let's say through, this would take us through midday uh, Wednesday, maybe a half to three quarters of an inch of rain. So we need the rain, that's good. We need to soak it in springtime. So showery and wet in the morning, not so wet. I think 4 to 7 p.m. could be dry tomorrow. That would include the high school sports, or grade school too, I suppose, sports practices and games. Next three days, we've got that chance for a thunder shower. Small chance tomorrow. I think it's a little better chance on Tuesday, midday, and afternoon. Cool days, and then Wednesday does look drier. No frost coming up, that's good news. And then Thursday, we've changed the forecast a bit. We think there'll be some showers around at times Thursday through Sunday. I got to tell you, really low confidence in here. Uh, each model is a bit different. Some imply one or two of these days could be dry. Others say it's the other day. So basically, just assume there could be showers any of these days. And if we get lucky, one or two of these days could be dry. But temperatures do return to normal, which is the mid-60s as we head into early May. Amel? All right, Mark. Thank you.